welcome back essentials today we are starting a new playlist called geo epics and basically it's going to be me describing you know a certain topic it could be a complex topic it could be a simple topic and today we're going to cover how to read a geologic map in hopefully less than five minutes but we'll see how it goes so the first thing we're going to look at is on this geologic map we're going to look at the different colors that you see so you see blue light blue purple pink you know that's that's representative of all the different rocks that you see it's keyed here on the stratigraphy so the pink is fossil man and it also has letters tied to it so it's not only a color but you have ladders and s is silurian that's the age of the rock and then the f is for the name of the rock so canatio is a, kind of a light grayish blue you see in it that devonian canatio perch shell which we don't see in this map but uh, las cruces has a light blue to it it's mlc so you can kind of distinguish it that way too and uh you, you'll see q c r u that's quaternary Alluvium, the yellow is quaternary alluvium. Quaternary is going to be the youngest sediments in the area. You'll see these lines between the rocks. They're solid, so that means a sharp contact between these two rocks. If you see these are dashed, that means that it's uh, inferred or um, you can't be seen, you can't see it, or it's not well exposed, so on and so forth. As you can see with this fault line, actually, it's dashed because you can't see it. It goes under the quaternary alluvium and alluvium. And obviously you have a, this line. This is an inferred fault, a normal fault. That's what this line represents. This, this line is solid, so you can see it. It's an obvious contact. Same with this one. And then this symbol is a strike dip. That's the strike and dip of the bed that they took a measurement on and then you have a fold up here which is what this arrow represents that represents the trend and plunge of a uh, of this fold and when you when you see the normal balloon the normal fault balloon that is pointing to the down dropped block on each of these so all these are the down dropped and when you're in the field, you can identify a fault by seeing that a Silurian fusselman is in contact with a Pennsylvanian carbonate. And those two should not be in contact with one another because there's too much geologic time missing, at least 110 million years. And then you, you also have what are called cross-section lines. That's these lines right here. And it's tied to this cross-section over on this side, C. It's basically a, a slice of the earth as if you were looking underground. Based on the rocks that you see at the surface, you can draw what's called a cross section, and you also have a, you obviously have a fault. And there's three cross sections on the map. Another important thing you, you have your title, you have your authors, you have your scale, one to 24,000, which is typical of a geologic map. That's a, that's a good scale. Uh, that many inches is one mile on the map. Uh, this is in feet, so, you know, you, one inch is equal to a thousand foot it looks like and then this one is in kilometers everyone else in the uh, in the world uses kilometers or the metric system and we use mileage and foot so on the stratigraphic column you also have the ages that are tied to these uh these keyed rock formations Silurian, fossilman devonian and Etheo. and then on the right side of this map it's just an abstract, you know, the, it's an explanation of each rock. And one thing you'll notice is this is over a topographic map. So you see the, the contour lines. This is obviously your higher points up here. And here we have a, see the fault trace is right here. Can't see it because it's covered, but it, uh, it follows all the way up here. This has a trend of 42. One thing about identifying faults is also change in strike and dip. As you can see, the dip 25 for this strike and dip symbol, and it changes to 35. So that's another way to identify a fault in the field. That's pretty much the quick way to explain how you describe a 
geologic map if there's any other episodes that you would like to see for these this geo epics playlist please let me know in the comment section otherwise i have a list of stuff that i'd like to go over i'd like to release at least one a week just describing geologic concepts quickly you know and i i figured this was a good way to start so thank y'all for watching later essential <laughs>